Hi, welcome to this uh, second in a series of uh, videos I've done on slide rolls. The first one was the one I did on the Darmstadt slide roll, which is a simpler, older type of slide roll. Um, this one, uh, I wanted to do one on the Desilon. Uh, since I'd seen a lot of videos on how to, uh, to, to use a slide roll, I thought it'd be beneficial and kind of fill a void to uh, look at a video just specifically on one type of slide roll. And uh, this is, like I said, the second in the series of uh, the, one of my favorite ones called the Desilon slide roll made by K&E. Just a quick uh, outline here. Uh, first, I'll give a background of K&E and how they developed slide rolls over the years. Uh, second, I'll look at comparison with their previous models that uh, they had produced in quantity previous to this one. I'll look at some of the uh, uh, arrangements of the scales, specifically the square root scales which were added to this model, and the uh, little bit unusual arrangement of the log scales, both the log and reciprocal log scales, and then a quick uh, comparison to other slide rules that uh, were competitors to this k and e slide rule. Um, it was first introduced uh, in a catalog in uh, 1962. I think it was developed in the fi late 50s, but didn't hit the market maybe until like the early 60s. And uh, the, the price list I've seen in 1962 for this particular slide rule was $25. And it doesn't sound like much. Specifically, you know, you can get one on eBay right now for about thirty to sixty dollars. But uh, in in the day of 1962, if you convert that to, uh, to 2017 dollars, it's a substantial amount of money. It's almost times ten, like two hundred fifty dollars. So with the price of a nice programmable calculator, you'd still not hit the budget for this type of calculator. So it was definitely the cat one of the Cadillac models that were available at the time. Uh, why is this one different? Well, looking at the, uh, the comparison with the previous model that they produced was the uh, so-called uh, log-log duplex deci trick, which was uh, the 4080 or the 41, or the 4180 and the 4181. The 81 model was made out of plastic like the uh, Deslon is made out of. It's a PVC plastic that uh, early literature, they called it uh, Ivorite which is a fancy name and just a, they gave it, but it, it does have different properties uh, from the plastics I've seen from German slide rules like the Faber-Castell. The Faber-Castell tends to stick for me. I've tried doing different things, but uh, the, the Ivorite or PVC models and plastic for the K&E really almost slide like wood and they don't gum up with uh, humidity and so forth and are quite uh, you know easy to use, I think, easy to slide and adjust. The uh, cursor on these models tended to go bad, and they were sometimes made out of uh, uh, glass or plastic here, and they would scratch. But the uh, the brackets would tend to corrode if you were living in like a seawater environment over, you know, in Florida or, or someplace that they would corrode. And uh, you see a lot of these are roached out and totally broken. Uh, the K&E came up with an improved cursor on this that they said was uh, unbreakable, which is a bit optimistic. But, you know, rarely do I see a broken cursor on these on for sale on eBay. They are quite robust. They're a bigger cursor, as you can see. And uh, they were made out of plastic, so they didn't shatter. But uh, they do scratch, but it's not noticeable, uh, you know, really. If you take the cursor off, you can see horizontal scratches on it. But it's very, very robust, in my opinion. Um, so the improvements here are mainly uh, the addition of a square root scale, which I'll talk about. And um, the square root scale has a lot of advantages. It, it, it appeared on other slide rules that, uh, that were out on the market at the time, like the Versalog, that, and uh, K&E called them the SQ1 and SQ2 scale. But if you look at the arrangement of the scale, which is on the, on the so-called front side, the very top of the stator, and it's right next to the DF scale. And recall the DF is really just the, the D scale times pi. So we've got DB X, X times pi um, next to the square root scale, which will lead to something, you know, like the, like the, the you can take the square of this. Okay, so an example of this, uh, if you look at just uh, an example of, say, 1.65, Put this on the uh, SQ1 scale, since that's the only place it appears. Go down. Now, the uh, 
square of that appears on the, on the D scale. So if you have the square times D times pi, which is on the DF scale, you get a readout of uh, 8.56 on the uh, on the DF scale. Okay, and that is directly the area you can put it in a calculator and uh, come out with 8.56. So look what we've done here. We've not even moved the slide or anything. We've just kind of positioned it on the SQ1 scale, 1.65 and read it directly out of an area. So you have essentially a table of an infinite amount of areas for circles, given the uh, the radius, I'm sorry. Likewise, one could uh, still use the A and B scale. This is a trick that's on all slide rules, but you can flip it over and uh, using the diameter now, instead of the radius, which is pi d squared over four. So we have to count for this pi over four factor. And that can be done easily by just setting uh, your cursor over a of pi divided by four on the b scale. And now we have pi divided by four, and now we just have to have the d square factor. So recall that going from the d to a is a square. So take for example, um, D diameter is 7.5. We would read that on the C scale, 7.5. And now read the area on the A scale, which is about uh, 4.42, but we have to take into account the uh, decimal place. Uh, seven squared is about 49 times a quarter of that. So it's gonna be, the decimal is gonna be like 44.2. And now that you have this arrangement, you can calculate any area for any given diameter, okay? In fact, K&E, and like a lot of slide rules, they provide a tick mark for pi over four is, about 0.784 uh, or something like 7.83. That provides a nice way to, to do that. But I always just remember that this is set to pi divided by four over here and come out with the correct formula, okay? Next, the, uh, I mentioned the log scales all being on one spot. To me, that's a very logical. You go from the from number on the, on the red side is 0 0.90 all the way to 0.38. These are not divided up, so it's easy and logical to figure out what to do here. Same way on the other side, uh, L0 to L3, you go from 1.001 all the way up to uh, 30,000, okay? And uh, what having all these scales kind of in a logical order, it makes it really easy to find a reciprocal. Of course, you can use the these log scales to find exponents and uh, different types of roots. But um, take for example, if I wanted to figure out something, like I always have trouble figuring out fractional values, the decimal values of fractions. So I could position it at eight, which is, you know, one-eighth, then if I want to know one-eighth, I simply flip it over, read the minus three, and I get uh, 0.125, which is right. And you get pretty good accuracy doing this, so it's a, it's a very good way to find reciprocals. Likewise, if you want to know the reciprocal of, uh, say, 20, another one that may not be on the top of your head, but it's pretty easy, 0 0.05 now. Just flipping it over from the, reading off the minus three scale, the reciprocal of that is 20. So uh, this can be done on other slide rules that have uh, all the log scales on one side, but they generally don't have four together like this. Uh, as a comparison, the, uh, this is the Versalog uh, made in Japan, and it has three log scales together on the same side on the top stator and the bottom stator. And you can find reciprocals the same way with this, but it just doesn't seem quite as logical. And this seems like a messier uh, layout compared to this. It's, it's just more, more uh, easy to, uh, to operate, in my opinion. Other slide rules uh, that I think forced the, the uh, K&E to change to the Decilon was obviously the Versalog, but also the, the Picket N3. This particular model is a N3-ES for uh, uh, eye savings or whatever. I call it eye strain. I just don't like the yellow. But um, it has the log scales appear on one side, and uh, once again, they're they're 
only four log scales, not six together. Or excuse me, there are eight scales, but the inverse appears right next to the uh, to its appropriate log number. So it, it's a bit confusing. Maybe if I use a slide rule, I, I would get used to it, but um, I just don't think it's as appealing. And you have divided root scales here, um, root one and root two are root, the even numbers and odd numbers to read the root scales. So you could do the same sort of calculation, but it's uh, just a little bit more confusing to me. And they even go as far as having cube root scales that are divided, get extra accuracy with that. So these are the two competitors. And one might even say another competitor, but was not used much in the U.S. or not sold much in the U.S. was the uh, Faber-Castell, which appears to be one of the more expensive slide rules on the market uh, to buy on eBay. They go for me worth my 100 to 150 dollars. I bought this one directly from Faber-Castell. They still have a, a stock, at least they did in the last year or so, of the uh, 283-N, and. Uh, they have all the log scales together, but there's just too much information for me to, to digest on these slide rules. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful slide rule, and uh, perhaps if I used it every day, maybe I would, I would get used to it. And they even have the square root scales on slides that can be used for calculations for uh, essentially giving a 20-inch slide rule accuracy with this slide rule. So I still think my favorite, if I was, was going to be an engineer in the 60s, would be this one uh, in summary. It's a very good slide rule, very logical, and um, and you can pick it up on eBay now for um, a per, you know fairly good price along with the manual. If you get the manual with it, uh, if you find some time a combination, you can get it for, um, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks, something like that. New in box, of course, it's gonna be like $100. So good luck and happy hunting on slide rules.